Megan's desperate career move and tantalizing new clues have emerged about her next dirty game and could put her on a collision course with the palace. Hello and welcome back to the Royal Family News YouTube channel. Well, folks, it looks like it's actually going to happen. Nobody knows exactly where, nobody knows when and nobody knows exactly what. One day you, King Charles and I will wake up to find that Meghan Markle has begun her desperate rise. Call it the brand's second coming or a brilliant piece of 11th hour image overhaul, but apparently the biggest troublemaker the royals have ever seen is on the verge of something big, what will be? Will it be a blog, a website, a social media platform, an e-commerce offer? Or maybe it will be a destination to help yourself in a wheelchair? Well, no one knows exactly when the clock is ticking towards the big moment when Meghan's entrepreneurial offering will finally be revealed with all the frills and everything we can expect. Could this pave the way for a new confrontation with Buckingham Palace, all right, so let me clarify a bit. It's been a weird year for Meghan Markle, so she first disappeared. He hid from everyone as Prince Harry worked his way to the top of the bestseller charts and even down his mother-in-law's Christmas list with her stupid rescue book. But even after all that excitement died down, Meghan was practically out of sight. He only came out to be a dad once in a while, the breakthrough, however, came in April when Meghan and only Meghan signed up with Hollywood super agent Emmanuel to try and help her revive her career because her attempt at podcasting hadn't been very successful. It was just a show about children of the sea, never made because Netflix decided to cut it by drastically cutting costs and Meghan's star was quickly fading away as the year went on. Plus we've heard a lot of speculation that some of what Meghan has been working on somehow dates back to the digital world because how could we forget that before Meghan married Harry she had her own boring blog called the TIG. And this month, we've heard even more reports that Meghan will be returning to the blog this week in a larger post about Meghan's budding comeback and an insider reveal on page 6. Meghan and the team work hard, I think it will be surprising, it will not be what everyone expects. Who Meghan is will sound familiar. Meanwhile, someone who is close to Meghan and Harry told Page Six earlier this month that Meghan wanted a laugh. Witherspoon is somewhat reminiscent of Jean Pat, founder of Goop, in other words that she now wants to become a successful businesswoman. E.S. Witherspoon's Hello Sunshine, sold for $1 point, Gwyneth's Empire Goop was later valued at almost $4 billion. But where things might get tricky is when you start to think about what a royal doing business might look like and how the palace might react. The root of the problem is the question of what the palace could do if Meghan started using drugs. Those four precious words, the Duchess of Sussex to try and sell products like snail secretion faces or cashmere dog blankets or gluten-free biscuit mix. Well, obviously, to consider this question, we must also consider another long term. Duchess Sarah Ferguson and the two and a half decades she spent paying her own bills. Besides helping convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, he has published two autobiographies, he has published five books on diet and wellness. She has earned millions of dollars as the face of Weight Watchers. Represented Wedgwood. Did a two-part reality television special titled The Duchess on the Estate. He was an occasional special correspondent for the NBCS Today program. He did a few commercials for financial services company Charles Schwab and My Favorite. She showed up at the U's Home Home Buying Network to sell, and throughout that job, we saw her again and again. He used that royal title for everything worth the words the Duchess of York took in the cutthroat commercial Pong and all that of the palace. The strategy was to try to distance herself from her commercial releases by claiming that she was no longer married to Prince Andrew, Duke of York. Technically, she was no longer a member of the royal family in 2001, a palace spokesperson told The Guardian, when asked to comment on her money-making antics, she is an ordinary, distinct and independent person, but it seems that this strategy won't work. This is the king's daughter-in-law and she is still part of the family. No matter that Camilla keeps trying to avoid it, it's also important to remember that diet smoothies, juices, or China are overpriced. While this might sound a little sketchy, it's not that controversial, but it's all about e-commerce. If that's what the creation of dot-com turns out to be, well, that's a whole different story, 
Another thing to remember is that when Faye was making her money in the United States, the late queen was always in charge, and in some ways the late queen was much more forgiving than Charles. For example, if you were filmed trying to sell access to a high-ranking member of the royal family, I hope the king would reduce her to just an old Mrs. Ferguson. So, if Meghan's new business, website, or social media platform doesn't include her Sussex title, then none of that really matters and that could change, especially if the Her series, the one and only podcast, is considered to be called Archetypes with Meghan. But as with the children's book The Bench with Meghan and the Netflix series Harry's Doku with all the awards Meghan has won and her joint inclusion with Harry in the Times 100 Most Influential People list. Let's see his title used for this important, shocking and unexpected release and things might get a little messy, it seems that in general the king doesn't know what to do with Meghan and Harry, but he still tried to use every tool at his disposal to keep the palace away from them. Goodbye Frogmore Cottage, their home in the UK, which is now completely empty after the king evicted them after being spared and goodbye to those HRHS at the royal site. Now Meghan and Harry's voices are uploaded at the bottom of the family page, right at the bottom with the third one. Cousins, we haven't even seen Meghan and Harry invited over for a quick cup of tea when they're in Europe next month for the Invictus Games, albeit a short private jet flight away. So given that the royal family doesn't seem to feel entirely warm and fuzzy towards the two of them at the moment, how would the king react if he saw a gifted title and someone using his royal family members to win a lot of money? Di saldi da patuto, questo era il motivo per cui all inizio degli anni 20, 20 la defunta regina punto i pedi e dis, assolutamente no, non potrai usar i tuoi titoli per fare saldi. Non se gli sera permesso di essere meta a meta out. Facts, so how far will Meghan try to go with London and her bid to carve out a solid and reliable career in the United States? Will she be ready to take the next step as the independent woman she's talked about so much? Or could she try to use what many consider her most profitable asset? His membership in the royal family assures him that his new business will bring him a lot of money. Another thing that could complicate things would be if this first one goes too far in the self-help area. If we're about to see Meghan giving advice on how to deal with the coldness of the laws and regularly exposing all the company's sins and biases, then again, doing nothing is not an option. For the king. But in all of this, I must admit that I am a little excited. I'm pretty excited to see exactly what Meghan has been so busy working on behind the scenes. Is it really going to be as amazing as it looks? I do not believe. And if all else fails, well Fergie, who Megan said she had lunch with in the Netflix documentary series, is just a phone call away. Will they go out and have kale smoothies together, maybe and you? What do you think of Meg's gesture? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Royal Family News for more updates immediately in the future. Thank you very much for watching, goodbye and see you soon in the next videos.